Alright, this is a video in which we will be talking about functions in PHP, how to use them, what is the proper syntax and why do we use the functions in PHP. So let's go and get started with this thing. So I have already opened this PHP page, I have created a PHP functions file, make sure your MAMP server is running there. A MAMP or XAMPP, you can use whatever you feel like. But uh, now this page is currently empty because I haven't written anything except the comments uh, which is basically describing all the function. Let's quickly go through the comments one by one and I'll explain you in a minute what does that mean actually. So a function is a block of statement that can be used repeatedly in a program. Now let's say for example you go to the market and you need to there's a you need to buy something from the market like a uh, bread eggs and groceries so each time we each time when we want to execute this action i really don't want to repeat those things because each day it will be like telling that we have to buy daily these things so it's good that we have we define that thing in a function and then call that function it's a way how computers interact so so let's go ahead and just create our examples real quick so my first function is will be like uh, there's a function that says say hello in h1 tag h1 and it says hello world now what happens let's see if we reload this page we won't see any text over here because this function need to be called for after just define this here we have defined the function but we haven't called this function so far so we have to call that function in order to execute this function it does not execute automatically so for to execute this function we have to simply say hello and then put in quotes and now if I reload this page, I'll get this hello world message over here. So this is basically a function in which uh, we just started developing our own function. So uh, let's go and create some more functions like uh, uh, which will be accepting a parameter. So functions parameter. So for that, I will simply say function a full name that is a function we have something like a uh, two variables it takes two arguments let's say first name and dollar last name and we want to echo out Um, using double quotes instead of these single quotes so dollar first name and the space in between saying last name and if I go and now we have to get the uh, now we have to, to print these values we have to call that function so let me quickly comment this earlier functions values uh, and then say say full name and now if I'm calling this function and now if I reload with this error why we are getting error just because it the function is accepting two arguments and we don't we haven't passed any arguments so let's say my name is Narin Moria or you can pass the variables over here or let's say Nandi is the first name and then the second argument I'll be passing Mandy so now if I reload quickly and we get here Nandy Mandy which is printed out here. So this is the first variable which, which has been inserted in this first name variable and the Mandy has been inserted into the last name variable. Now let's let me quickly go, go through this thing again. And now, uh, now this accepts first name, last name and this accepts a first name. first name okay so now uh, we have to define these functions uh, define these variables so I'm just 
quickly telling you what is the scope in the function so let's say Narendra um, dollar last name equal to Maria and if I reload if I quickly save this thing and reload now we are getting the rain Maria here so one thing you remember that we are using the same variables over here as well as over here so this means what these two variables are out of scope of these functions but whatever we have inside we, we cannot access those values over outside this function as well as we cannot access these outside parameter outside variables inside that function so because this is called scope limitation so these variables just belong to these functions and these variables are independent variables of this program so this is basically a scope defining now let me go to the uh, a function will not execute immediately when a page loads it need to be called as I tell as, as I said so this is basically about the function now let's go quickly create about the strict functions now, what are strict functions let's say strict functions so what are strict function basically strict function means which which except statically typed arguments arguments which accept statically type argument so what does that mean let's say we have a function where we want to add two numbers and that function is saying uh, its name is sum or better return sum so this function accepts two variable let's say num1 and num2 and this returns uh, this echoes out this prints the sum of two numbers so let's say number one num1 plus or num2 so now if I call this function just to add this number just for the sake of add this, adding these two numbers so return sum is our function name and we are passing two variable two values over here and that is saying 23.5 23.67 and now if I reload what happens over here Uh, let me put a quick, real quick let's put some uh, break lines because I want I want you to see that the output whatever we are getting over here so we get 47.23 which exact result whatever we are then passing by adding these two numbers whatever we will be getting but now um, for that uh, let's say oh static type parameter so this function will be uh, this function will also work for this because this is taking the float type variables uh, but uh, this function will be equally workful for the integers now if I reload this page again and we get 46 over here so that means uh, uh, now if I now let's say let's we create those variables which is only valid for the integers not for the float values so here comes the statically typed function so let's say int in which we are defining the integers now let's go ahead and reload the page whatever what we are gonna get so at the first we are getting 46 and again 46 so why is that happening because when we pass these two values as a float values so it automatically removes the decimal places because uh, integer because it is taking integral arguments and it automatically pass that number into integers and then it does all the perform all the performance function of uh, values so now this is a basic example of the statically type functions in which we can define something that is uh, all that is only one that is of only one type so let's go create one more function which means uh, which returns statically typed variable uh, so first of all let me 
uh, let me quickly tell you what is a uh, which what is return basically so uh, there's a function like a uh, function like uh, my return and it will be returning me some values so let's say uh, we'll be passing something here that is um, hello and we'll be or basically we can get the example of this number only num1 comma dollar num2 so it will be returning me return dollar num1 plus dollar num2 and now if I just call this function my return so what we are gonna get let's check that or whatever we are looking at it mm. and now if I reload this page we are nothing we are not we are not getting anything because it is returning something out of this function not the printing part it is as in this function the printing was done but in not in this function we are not printing anything on the screen so in order to use this function we need to store it or we need to echo out this directly and now if I reload this function so we are getting here we have our 37.75 so what does that mean this function is returning some values and not unlike this function so basically these functions are kind of void type we do not return anything back these functions are void type but this function is returning some values so that's why we are, this, these functions are not void type so let's go and create a uh, statically type variable uh, statically type uh, statically type return link function so what does that mean so in which we are simply saying function return sum let's say and we will be simply just putting it out over here that will be whatever the sum we are getting is should be in integer format sorry not the dollar sign over here will be in integer format and it accepts again two numbers uh, which is copy and just paste it over here we can in this function we can put on any value whatever float either float or or decimal places uh, either float or number integral integral numbers but this function will return whatever outside of this function will be of an only integer type so let's say dollar num1 plus dollar num2 and if I save and if I call this function out over here echo returns sum uh, we are passing let's say a trend 12.8 and uh, next one is 16.4 and if I reload this page now whatever look at the change whatever we are gonna get over oh, this page isn't working why is that Oh, uh, we already have this return or some function over here defined. So let's say return at and uh, instead of return and sum, we'll simply say add. So now if I reload this page, we are getting 35.75. But I have one more thing that is we haven't we didn't add any break line break so I'll simply add this thing line break over here and now if I reload this page now let's see this function is accepting these two arguments over here that is 6 12.8 and 16.4 and it added it did all the sum calculation over here the result will be around 29.4 or 29.2 something i guess yeah 29.2 and then it passed back to the uh, integer format so whatever the decimals were there has been removed by this integer because this uh, automatically passed the return type into the integer format so basic about examples about the functions so hope you like the video and you can give this video a thumbs up and if you just stumbled across my channel you can just give a subscribe button so never miss a video and press on the black bell icon 
and if you want to help us we can, you can definitely share our videos to those who are just starting with the programming and so thank you guys